In today's session, we will be discussing about market segmentation process, then identifying and evaluating segments. In the previous uh, session, I told you about segmentation, what is segmentation, how you can divide the heterogeneous market into uh, different homogeneous small segments. Now, what is the process you will follow? We have to, you know, uh, go stepwise in this. Number one, identify the purpose of segmentation. Why you are segmenting the market? The first step in the market segmentation process is to clearly define the process of segmentation. Uh, this includes identifying the objective. What is the objective of the company? The company, they want to increase market share. They want to increase profit. They want to increase accessibility or they want to target new customer segment or they want to retain or improve customer satisfaction. So what is the objective of the company? The purpose of segmentation should match, you know, with the objective of the company. For example, if my company objective is to, uh, you know, target new customer segment. So I can go with the upward stretch or the downward stretch. If I'm selling, uh, you know, a middle uh, segment product, I can tap into the higher segment also. I can tap into the lower economical segment also. So stretching you can do, it can be both ways also. Or you can add on some product also, some product lines you can add if you want to increase your market share. So here the question is that what is the objective of the company? So my objective goes with, you know, my segmentation process. So my segmentation entirely is based on the objective. What is the objective of the company? So that should be very, very clear. Number two, I will do research. Now, for example, if my objective is to increase market share, I have to do research about it. How you, how I can increase my market share? What is my current share? How many competitors are there? What offerings they are having? Can I sell better than them? Or if I can add on some product line, then I can increase my market share in comparison to my competitors. So I have to do a market research. I have to uh, gather the data, information about the competitors, customers, the trends, target market, what is going on in the market. And for that, I can go with different techniques of research. I can do survey using questionnaire. I can, uh, you know, do interviews, focus group. And I can go with the analysis of secondary data. You can have company reports. You can do trend analysis to see that what was the trend. Uh, you can analyze five years data data down the line to have a better insight that what is the trend going on in the market. And if I if I will do this, will it be successful or not? So if the trend is that yes, you are having an increasing upward trend, you are getting positive uh, you know feedback. Yes, you can add, add on in that case. So, you trend to see what is the trend going on, market is, there is a, what is the growth rate in the market. If there is, a, you know, a recession is expected. So, you have to behave accordingly that, you know, what type of market I am going to have down the year, down the line or the next year. Then the third step is identify segment variables. Segment, uh, you know, we, I can segment the market on the basis of different uh, uh, variables. I told you in this earlier PPT also that the main four common basis of segmentation are demographics, psychographic, behavior and geographic factors. The most popular is demographic based on the age, gender, income, occupation. And then this is followed by the lifestyle of people, standard of living of people, you know, the attitude of people in the society, the values and beliefs, the culture. Yes, these are all going to affect after that. Now, after identifying the variables that what type of segmentation I can do according to these basis, I can segment the market. So my goal here is to create segment, those that, you know, are distinct. I want to create different segment. So for example, you know, example, a niche segment. You are selling tea. 
but doctors are advising people uh, you know uh, stop excessive uh, uh, tea intake so market is flooded with uh, new options green tea green coffee herbal teas so always market here is you know searching for the new products initially they are new very few people will try that will be a niche segment so our goal the company goal is always you know to create a segment which should be distinct measurable accessible yes actionable and substantial so the segment should be large enough to be profitable and should have some specific characteristics that differentiate them from other segment then after this i will develop segment profile once the market is segmented profile are developed for each segment these profiles include detailed descriptions of the segment uh, you know characteristics need preferences behavior and the purchasing power the profile help marketer understand the specific requirement of each segment and tailor you know the cust then customize their offerings according to that and customize marketing strategies according to that so the next step here is evaluate segment attractiveness next step is step number 6 uh, evaluate segment attractiveness uh, see all segments whatever segments we are having all are not equally attractive some are small some are big segments some are profitable some are less profitable in this step uh, you know each segment is evaluated based on the several criteria like size growth potential profitability competition compatibility with the company's resources and capabilities and alignment with the company strategic objective the goal is to identify the most attractive segment for further targeting and positioning then i will you know we will select target segment based on the evaluation that which segment is more attractive where we are having more growth potential on the basis of these certain parameters the company select one two or more segment to focus its marketing efforts the selection is based on the company's objective resources and competitive advantage target segments should have sufficient size growth potential and alignment with the company's value proposition after this after selecting the target segment i will develop marketing strategies once the target segment identified the company develops marketing strategies for each segment you need different type of marketing strategies for different segment this uh, you know include creating differentiated positioning designing tailored marketing mix element product price place distribution and developing communication messages that resonate with the specific needs and preferences of each segment the goal is to deliver superior value to the target segment and gain a competitive advantage so after this finally we will implement and uh, implementation is not you know done you have to continuously monitor so after developing the marketing strategies the company implement the plans and monitors the performance of segment based marketing efforts so this involves tracking sales market share customer satisfaction and other relevant metrics regular monitoring definitely helps in assessing the effectiveness of the segmentation strategy and make necessary adjustments after this i will identify and evaluate segment uh, you know the process of identifying and evaluating market segment is very crucial for effective targeting and positioning because you know you have to target and position accordingly if you will do wrong positioning it it can be very harmful for the company so here are some key steps which are involved in this number 1 gather data and information the first step in identifying is to gather relevant data information about the market or nature of market growth potential of market customers kaise hain and industry this can be done through primary research or secondary research the goal is to understand customer demographics psychographics behavior needs and preferences then step 2 i will analyze and segment data once the data is collected it needs to be analyzed to identify patterns trends and potential segment 
statistical techniques such as the clustering vector analysis regression can be employed to identify groups of customers with similar characteristics or preferences then i have to evaluate the attractiveness we talked about this earlier also uh, that segment should be attractive what is the size of the segment what is the growth potential how profitable it will be how much accessible it is according to the company's resources how compatible it is and what level of competition you will get within the segment are you able to match the competition then with the compat you know compatibility with the company the segment should align with the overall company's uh, value brand positioning core competencies so by evaluating segments based on these criteria companies can prioritize their marketing efforts on segment that offer the highest potential and fit with the strategic goals we have to select uh, target segment after checking the attractiveness if based on the evaluation of uh, segment attractiveness the company select the target segment it wants to focus on uh, here the selection can be one to uh, you know it can be product specialization it can be market specialization or it can be full coverage the selection can be based on the company objective resources and competitive advantage the goal is to choose segment that offer the best opportunities for growth and profitability then i will develop profiles according to this for each target segment detailed segment profiles are developed these profiles include a description of uh, segment characteristics demographics psychographics behavior need preferences and buying patterns the profile help in understanding the specific requirements of each segment and tailor tailoring marketing strategies accordingly and finally we will develop marketing strategies where we focus on differentiation because in today's market with a high level of competition rivalry if we are not coming out with something different so it will not work so how you go, go for differentiation what is your usp how you are going to position it how you will design the marketing mix element the product design what will be the price how you are going to promote and what channels you will be using to make it more accessible to the target customer and what type of communication messages you know uh, that should match with the specific need and preferences of each segment so goal is to deliver superior value to the target segment and gain a comp competitive advantage so with this we end up the stp process segmentation targeting thank you very much